that way, okay? Hey, pal! What are you doing over there? Yeah, that's right. I'm talking to you, pal. You're not supposed to be back here. I'm looking for Mr. Randia. That's Mr. Randa. Mm, Mr. Randa. You see the big boss? Yeah, got that right. He's the owner. What do you want to see him for? It's a personal matter about my brother. Excuse me, sir. Are you busy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Yes, son of a bitch. I'm always busy. What is it? I got a guy down here I think you're gonna wanna meet. I'm busy. Time to get lost. You're gonna wanna talk to this guy, sir. Trust me. Who the fuck is that? Guy says he's Kovac's brother. All right, bring him up. Come look closer. Who are you? Huh? I'm Nicholas Kovacs. Laszlo was my brother. Huh? You got any identification? It's all right. Hey, I got papers inside. Just doing his job. Yeah, bring that over here. He's got papers. Come prepared, huh? So, family, <clears throat> hmm? Yes, he was my brother. I tried to call on the phone and send many emails, but you didn't answer me. About what? The money that you owe for his family. The money? What money are you talking about? It's okay. Let them go. That benefit from your company. You owe for his family $12,750. I came here to get the money because I couldn't reach you. That's very interesting. Yes. I will take the money now, please. I have to get to the airport. My flight leaves tonight. We'll take the money now. <laughs> I guess he will. <laughs> <laughs> You must pay the money for my brother. It is the law. It is in his contract with you. 
Sure, no problem. It's in his contract. Yeah, I got the money. Here you go, right here. Cash. Here it is, there's your money. All right? Yeah, go buy your family a gumball with that. What about the rest of the money? There is no more money, pal. Now scram. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, boss. Check this out. A hammer? A ball peen hammer? What is this? What do you want me to do, huh? You want me to break your balls with this? Huh? <laughs> it's for my brother's family. A souvenir. A souvenir? Who the fuck brings home a ball peen hammer? Huh? Let me ask you that. All I want is the money, and I will go away. I don't want any trouble here. You don't, huh? All right. This is how this is gonna work. Number one, you take this ball peen hammer back to that shithole country you're from, and that shiny quarter I gave you, and you shove it up your fucking ass. I will not leave here without $12,750. I will not leave here. Oh, yes, you will leave here, you fucking moron. Go ahead, show him a little hospitality on the way out. All I want is the money. I just want what you own, my brother, nothing more. Get him the fuck out of here. I'll give you what I owe you. Move it. I don't want to make trouble here. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Bopina. I don't want any more trouble here. One move. One move and I'll pick the floor with your pea brains all over it. You hear me? Get down. Slide down nice and easy. Nice and easy. Don't move. Don't you fucking move. Slide the gun. Slide the gun. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want the money and I will leave. Yeah, you'll leave. You just want the money and you'll leave, huh? Now you'll leave. <laughs> oh. Fuck. I need a new crew. Detective Varelli will speak with you. This way, she's waiting. Here he is, Detective. Miklos Kovacs. I'm Detective Varelli. Please, have a seat. 
This is Special Agent Langley from, sorry, what department did you say you were from? Not important. What is important is we have cooperation. Cooperation. I am fantastically interested in getting to the bottom line of this drug smuggling ring. A major drug ring set up an operation running opioids through our county. And you connected. I have nothing to do with drugs. Your criminal charges, assault, attempted murder, extortion charges, all filed by Albert Renda, the owner of the recycling company. That was self defense. They assaulted me. You go in there demanding money. You beat up an employee. Then you take out a gun and shoot someone. But that's not what happened. I only came for the money. He owed my brother. Albert Renda has a different story. And he has plenty of witnesses. I'm telling the truth. I swear, I didn't know there to hurt anyone. What's this, huh? What, this was just was lying around there, too? No. It's mine. It was in my bag. I was taking it home with me. A souvenir. <laughs> souvenir? Yeah, a souvenir for my brother's family. My family name is Kovacs. In Hungary, where I'm from, Kovacs means blacksmith. The blacksmith used a hammer for his work. I was bringing it back home for a souvenir. And like a symbol, my brother, he died. But the hammer, like our family name, lives forever. You understand me? <laughs> Made in America. Look, if I wanted to hurt that guy, I wouldn't do hammer to do it. Yeah, yeah. And judging by those two thugs whose asses you kicked, you know? This is up to the good experience. You military. For a short time. When I was young. All right, all right. So you a, a tough son of a bitch. There's plenty of that shit in a prison. Let me see you hammer it down. My lawyer said I might not do time. Said you would help me. We might not be able to help you. Mr. Renda and his witnesses have a strong case against you. And the judge you're going before is married to Mr. Renda's sister-in-law. That judge is going to throw the book at you. Yeah, sounds like some old backwards down home justice going down. You're looking at five to ten years, and after that, you'll get tried on immigration violations. Ooh, that's a lot of time for self-defense. But I didn't do those things, what they say. That wasn't my fault. It's their fault. It's your fault. It don't matter. You are going to Pleasant Hill, and don't let the name fool you. Ain't nothing, nothing pleasant about that place. I can go to prison. I have family. I have to go home, take care of them. Please, can you help me? Here's the thing. What if your brother was working with the drug ring? My brother wouldn't do that. He never used drugs. He was a good man. But we have information. Someone on the inside knows something about the drugs that have moved through here. Say he was in the wrong place at the wrong time said the wrong thing, and was murdered. What? My brother was murdered? By who? Give me the man's name, please. What would you do if you found him? I would find out what's happened. Then? Depends what happened. We don't have a name, Mr. Kovacs. This is an ongoing investigation. But we could use your help. What do you want from me? Okay. This is set. You're gonna be sent to Pleasant Hill. Now, some of the inmates there, they have knowledge about the drug smuggling ring. You're gonna be my ears, my eyes. If you hear, see something, smell something, you let me know. When the time is right, I'll reach out. See if I could reduce your sentence. You want me to be a pigeon or snitch? In 
informant. Mr. Kovacs, please understand this. This is your choice. We can't make you do this. Listen. I only came for the money. What he owed my brother. Yeah, right, right. Uh, the 12750 That's right. I don't want any more trouble here. I got news for you, jail bait. You already in a world of trouble, and the world's about to explode. You want to take your time? You're going to have plenty of time up there in Pleasant Hill. And you let me know when you decide. I'll be back in a few minutes. Agent Langley, wait. That's it? You're just gonna walk away? I thought you were gonna work with me to help him. He doesn't want our help. You didn't try very hard. We checked this dude out. He's got some bad history. Not much different from yours, I hear. Uh, I don't know. I didn't know you were that interested in me. I'm not. I just like knowing who I'm working with. Okay. Well, now we got our, have our relationship in order. You want to tell me why this guy is deserving of your attention? I believe him. And? And I believe there's a connection between his brother's death and the drug ring. And? And what? Nothing. Look, just give me a little bit more time with him. See if I can get him to work with us. You're wasting your time. <laughs> that dude is bad news. Stay down. Don't fight it. You'll get bored. It'll be over quicker. Bye, folks.
Lock him up. Back to your cells. Let's go. Prisoner 258, step out of your cell. I'm here. Exit the cell. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good morning, Miklos. What would you like in your coffee? I have cream, half and half, sugar, cane sugar, sweet and low, and my personal favorite, natural honey. It comes from a little farm right up the highway. Jaws black. Well, nothing wrong with black coffee. That strong jolt must really get your blood flowing. Terrible things you have to do to keep people in control. I'm building a better place here, and all I need is cooperation. Makes everything less complicated. You agree? Makes sense. OK, Miklos, this is how it's going to work. You follow the rules, you don't cause any problems, and you do your job. And you'll find I'm very easy to get along with. If not, well, you already know what happens. So why don't we make this a pleasant experience for the both of us? What do you say? I understand. Splendid. We have cooperation. You know, from time to time, issues arise that need special attention. You know, Miklos, I'm always on the lookout for a problem solver. The benefits can be quite appealing. Have a pleasant day. Perfect right here. Name's Bud. I'm Miklos, but call me Mick. Too bad we had not meet in a place like this. This is Green Horn. Howdy. Out there's Pappy. Nice to meet you. You call me Tex. I'm in a cell right next to yours. I remember you. I should have remembered what I told you. Stay down and don't fight it. It would have been a whole lot less painful. You let the people beat on you? You don't fight back? Everybody gets a welcome mat on the first night. Mm. Not everybody handles it like you do, though. You're a tough man, mister. Borden give you the speech? Did she serve you coffee? Yeah, she did. Regular or decaf? <laughs> <laughs> what? The man just got his clock clean, and you're worried about whether or not he had regular or decaf. Maybe he doesn't like decaf. You know, 75% of coffee drinkers don't like decaf. What are you even talking about, you retard? <laughs> it wasn't very good. It was decaf. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you I was right. Why doesn't the guy over there eat what we eat? You mean Bunyan? He's got his nose so far up the warden's ass that he can count the fillings in her teeth. Bunyan's done special assignments for the warden. Gets to eat like a king. 
Someone's gonna feel the rats of Bunyan. Very soon. Uh, he's the warden's black hand. Fear not the black hand, for it is the hand of fate by which the shiny knight enters into the depths of Dragomar! That's Wizard. He's from another planet. You better watch out. He might put a spell on you. By the power of Dragomar, I will turn you into hen's teeth and scatter you across the heavens. You want a gold, man? Get back to work. You too. Bravo, bravo. You dare mock the wizard? No, no. Sorry. I beg forgiveness, old great one. Little piece of info. Get yourself a gimmick. Keeps people away. Helps you to survive in here. Sounds like good advice. Want to know a secret? Hmm? See that building over there? That's D-Block. Know what's in the sub-basement of D-Block? Tunnels. Tunnels? Tunnels. You've seen them? Used to play in them, and this place was an insane asylum. Those tunnels were used to carry dead bodies out of D-Block. D-Block was a morgue. Those tunnels go back hundreds of yards into the woods. Get your ass in that tunnel, you're a free bird. Break time, 15 minutes. Break time, 15 minutes. King of Cell Block 13. You can be my court jester. Let's get down to business, scrotum skull. Come on. Let's 
That's a new guy, Cheney. He's been rounding up a posse to take over Block 13. Only one king of the block, and that's Bunyan. And he ain't about to give up the crown. Why don't the guards stop it? Stop it? <laughs> Hell, they're placing bets. They like the entertainment. Gives them a chance to make a little extra cash on the side. And the warden gives 50% of the pot. So the guards beat the hell out of us at night. Then we beat the hell out of each other in the day. Welcome to Warden Jack's Country Club. She's up there now watching us. Likes to keep her distance, just in case things get ugly. Man, this ain't fair. Ought to be a law against it. There are laws against it. Laws in here? Shit. Just saying there ought to be something we can do. Well, first you need to learn how to write. Then maybe you can write your congressman. <laughs> congressman? Why the good that'll do? Try this on for size. Get him, yeah! Go on, Cheney. attention. I heard 
this place used to be an insane asylum. Is that true? Yeah, a long time ago. Why? This guy was talking something about the D-block and what's under it. Ah, uh, you've been talking to Wizard. I guess he told you about the not-so-secret tunnels, huh? You know that dude's batshit crazy, right? Maybe he is, but what do you think? What do I think? What? About tunnels? Well, I guess anything's possible. They'd have sealed them off when they built D-Block, though. It's not like you hear of a prison with ready-made escape tunnels. You've been here like, what, 21 hours? You already thinking about escaping? I like to have options. Why don't you talk to Wizard? Maybe he can make you invisible. Then you can just walk on out of here. You know, that's one I didn't think of. Do that thing with your eyes? What? You know, that, that thing you do with your eyes, the way you look at people, that death stare. Can you show me how to do that? I don't know what you are talking about. Okay. But I will show you how to box. You could teach me how to box? Yes. In the yard, I will show you some techniques of self defense. Awesome, Mick. Thank you. your ass. Let's go, double time. Got a visitor, Kovacs. with all the cases I work. I'm sorry, not cases, with the people involved. Mm, I know. It's good to see you. It's good to see your beautiful face. Why, thank you. No beautiful faces in prison, or like mine. You're not bad, trust me. I've seen some doozies. Doozies? Just an expression, doozy, like, um, but ugly. Oh. Yes, I understand. Have you been thinking about what we discussed? About your rehabilitation? Yes, I have something. I have seen some things in here. I know that your transition has been hard, but uh, some really bad things go on here and you have to stay positive. How are things going? Any friends? Some, yes. I work every day in the yard, sometimes around the building. I work with materials that cover the grounds. How you say, landscaping. Landscaping's good. 
Work helps keep your mind off things. Learn new skills. I'll talk to the parole board. Let them know you're working hard and following the rules. See if we can't get your sentence reduced. I've been doing a little research on your golden boy. What'd you find? Seems Mick Kovacs may not be exactly who we think he is. He's in for carjacking, but his actual offenses are extortion and attempted murder. Well, how did this mistake happen? Looks to me like somebody was doctoring the files at the police station. Who would do that? I don't know yet, but I'm working on it. Oh, and guess who filed the complaint? Albert Renda. Good work. Keep digging. I'm on it. Time's up, Kovacs. Let's go. Laszlo guy was snooping around. He knew our operation. I had to take him out. How the hell did I know his brother was gonna show up? If I had known that, I would have blew his head off when I had the chance. But I was just trying to be, as they say, proactive. You know what I mean? Proactive? Yeah. You never mentioned the little problem you had with his brother. I told you, I took care of it. I don't want you taking care of anything on your own right now. You run everything by me. We have some big shipments coming in next week, and I don't want any more surprises. Hey, boss, you're the boss. As I was saying, I was just trying to be proactive, all right? Do me a favor. Don't be so proactive. OK. Man, do me a favor. Don't mess with that guy. <laughs> I mean her. She's, she's uh, yeah. Stand down. You too. 
Let's move it out. Step around the body. Breakfast is waiting, gentlemen. Get it while it's hot. Load him up. You stay back. Get him to the morgue. Clean it up. Never leave your cell at night. Unfortunate what can happen when you don't follow the rules. I have a good thing going here, Mick, and I can use a man with your skills. In time, I can even get your sentence reduced. Then he could work for us on the outside. Plenty of great benefits. Let's cut to the chase. I know who you're working for, and I can assure you they can't be trusted. Once they're finished with you, they'll clip your wings and kick you from the nest. The only difference is we are family. And once you're in, you're in for life. And we take care of each other. So the choice is simple. Join the country club or get buried under it. You're a fast learner, Mick. I know you'll do what's in your best interest. Enjoy your breakfast. You missed a spot. Get back to work. Now don't tell me I'm imagining things here. This guy's connected. Who's he working for? FBI? DEA? Local police? I don't like it. Now boys, not to worry. I have a solution to our little problem. This will all be solved in due time. It better be. You got 48 hours. Let's get some lunch. I need a drink. Yeah, what about Patello? Patello's is good. Got that cute waitress working there. That wasn't so bad. Inmate 246. <laughs> Get up. We have a date. Fellas, nice to see you again. Let's go. <laughs> Nice. Johnny P, good to see you. Please have a seat. Hey, thanks for the invite, but I did not expect all this. Well, I believe every now and then you should treat yourself to the finer things in life. 
Yes, sir. I, I mean, ma'am. Sounds good to me. Cheers. Salute. Go ahead, help yourself, enjoy. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> hmm. There's a situation that's come up that needs special attention. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. It's a delicate matter, Johnny. And I hope I can count on you to do what's necessary. Okay, yeah. What do you need? Yes, I want. You know, it's a shame you are so clumsy. What'd you say to me, boy? Hmm. I understand. Your hearing is not so good either. tell you how this is going to go. I'm going to hop, and I'm going to pop, and I'm going to knock your block off. Oh, you think you're funny, old man? I'll give you the first shot. That's enough. Save it for the yard. Oh, you know what makes my dog. Oh, I'll see you soon. Get him to the dock. Come on, buddy. This ain't over. We got you. It's all right. We'll get you there. I'll be looking for you. I'll find you. There's a storm brewing. You better get ready. What are you doing? Eating. You know, you're a marked man. You must have done something to piss the warden off. I need nothing. Yeah, well, don't expect any help out of me today.
Take them both to solitary. Take the rest back to their cells. Call the doctor. All right, get these two over to solitary and take the rest of them back to the cells. Now! Come on, let's go. Move it. Gonna fly back. Huh? She's serious? Fight back, you think? Well, it's about damn time. We're gonna lose. Sex is right. Yeah. Might as well take a few of them with us. Yeah, let's take a tour. Kick their ass. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Ah, not this shit again. What's the problem? I can't, I can't breathe.
Don't worry. <clears throat> Everything is going to be all right. <laughs> Amateurs. I want them dead now. Finish the job. Understood.
control. We gotta get out of here now. Shit. Try another one. That one right there. Yeah. Now! Open the portal that I may pass! <laughs> 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 
I'll go this way. The tunnel has got to be here. Drop your weapons! Down on the floor, now!
Johnny, Johnny. Now where do you think you're going? We had such a good relationship. I'm very, very disappointed in you. Now why'd you have to go and spoil everything? Happy to disappoint you. second to kill you. I'm your only hope out of here alive. Now get me to the doctor. Sorry. My English is not so good. Can you repeat it? You're a fast learner, Miklos. I know you will do what's in your best interest. I don't understand. We must be lost in translation. <sighs> <sighs> Damn it! I'm giving you one last chance. Now don't blow it! You, you can't do this to a woman. You may be a woman, but you are no lady. Here. I ain't no need for anybody else to get her. Put, put your, your weapons on the ground and, and put, put your, your hands above your head. Do it! First now. things first. You get every major news organization and the governor's ass here ASAP. We're ready to negotiate. for them to find us. Good idea. Hey, brother. 
about me trying to kill you back there? <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. No worries, brother. I didn't let you. <laughs> you sure didn't. <clears throat> hey, no. I thought you only liked trees. <laughs> you take care of yourself. You do the same. Hey, you keep yourself out of trouble. I don't want to have to come back and save your ass again. <laughs> I try. Make it. I don't have any weapons. It's okay, Mick. I'm not gonna arrest you. It's all good. Outstanding work. Man, you left a mess for us to clean up back there. But it's okay, man. Your little prison party helped us to shut down a major drug supplier. I'm not going back to prison? No. We spoke to the governor on your behalf. All the charges against you have been dropped? And you got a full pardon. Yeah, with a little bit of strong army for me. This means I'm free? Yeah, Mick, you're a free man. Oh, um, got something for you. OK. Put your thumb on the screen right there. What is it? It's a new cryptocurrency account. You can receive deposits or wire transfers from anyone, anywhere. And only you can withdraw the money. Dollars go in, can't come out unless you take it out. So like a Roche Motel for cash. <laughs> the account's yours, Mick. The money's all yours. All of it? Yeah. Yeah, sort of like, you know, payback for services rendered. I'd like you to come work for me. Got a lot of opportunities coming up, and I think you'd be perfect for it. Now, you'll be working full time for the United States government. Of course, you got to keep all your little transactions tucked away in that little old digital toy of yours. Makes it a little easier for us to monitor. Um, yeah. He means it's easier to hide that way. Yeah, with well, some of the government's operations a little bit sensitive. You in? That's all very interesting. A lot to think about. Mick, you're a free man. You can do what you want. This is a rare opportunity, Mick. You get full benefits, a retirement plan, the whole nine yards. Now, let's not forget about all that action you're going to be getting. Hey, look, man, you know what I'm talking about. A man with your abilities? Uh, be ashamed to let all that talent go to waste. My brother always said, America is the land of opportunity. Still is. Better than ever. Where are you going? Home, to take care of my family. What about my deal? Let me think about it. I will let you know when I make a decision. Mm, I'll be around.
bunch of great New York lawyers backing me up, so... Listen up, Tony. Either get those trucks on the road now, or I'm coming down here to kick some ass. Starting with you. You fucking hear me? Do me a favor and be proactive, all right? Now get those shipments to Cleveland, Pittsburgh, and Chicago. Yeah, come in. Now get your ass to work. Hey. It's you. It's, uh, good to see you. Well, you, uh, you, uh, here for your money? Huh? I have a family too, all right? And they need me. No, please. Please! I'm begging you! Please! No, 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 please! Please! No, 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 no. My brother was the good son. I am the bad son. What you Americans call the black sheep please! of the family. We really should be careful working in this place. Please, I'm, I'm begging you! Accident can happen to anyone. Please! 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 Ah! 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 Your back is a fight for your soul, always under attack. 